Hey guys, for a while I've been searching for an uh, additional software to supplement for lack of any AI enhanced tools in Affinity Photo version 2. And follow some of your recommendations, I decided to try Luminar Neo. So that's the standalone version. You may remember this name. They provide some those high-end plugins to Photoshop in the past. I think they still do. But now there's a proper standalone app. And it also works on both Mac and Windows, same as Affinity software. So I do not try to replace my Affinity photo. I simply searching for something that can supplement for this total lack of any AI tools so we can kind of battle <laughs> Adobe Photoshop with this Firefly in the back end with two programs. Seems like it will be pretty hard now for those smaller developers to battle Photoshop. So maybe if we combine two programs together, we still have a chance. All right. So this time today I'm going to use Lumina Neo to recolor object using this a nice AI masking. So let's try it out. Here I am in the kind of the lobby of the software. You, after you turn it on, you will see your recent projects. By default, you got all of those learning projects from the developer, so you can check out how it's all operate. But I'm going to simply drag and drop my own picture. I just drop it here. And here it is. It's jump to presets straight away. So that's a kind of the casual approach we can use. But I like to edit this all myself. So I switch to editing mode. And it's more like it. On the left, we got layers. On the right, we got all of the tools available to us. And as you can see, those tools are mostly adjustments, all right? So it's a bit different program than a classic raster editor. So what I need to do here today is to change the color of the car. So I could jump straight to the adjustment called color, right? That's a familiar slider. We can change it to the another one that's like HSL, hue, saturation, luminous. That would be more helpful. All right. And if I go all the way down, I can use this hue shift slider. Take a look by moving this left and right. I can very quickly recolor the car. But as you can notice, I also recolor the backdrop and the foreground. Everything is violet now. So what we need to do is we need to apply a mask, right? And in the classic approach, I will need to make a precise selection based on the shape or the color of something. And then based on that mask, I can apply this adjustment. But I hope today we will be able to actually use the AI mask so I don't need to do it by hand. All right. So let's check. I got this color adjustment and there's adjustments and also masking. So I click on masking and there is AI mask available for us. Take a look this brush and gradient so we can do it manually. I will go with the AI mask and this will analyze your image. That's the advantage here. So the program will try to understand what is in the picture. That's something that we are missing right now in Affinity software. So we detect three elements. Architecture, that will be the backdrop. Man-made ground, I'm guessing that's the road in front and the transport. So that's the car. Let's click the transport. And the car is highlighted now. Let's go to adjustment. And let's try to move this slider once more. And take a look. Right now I'm affecting only the car, not the backdrop. So I can very quickly modify this orange color to be green or maybe violet. And in seconds we create this recolor version of the picture using this AI mask. So that was rather quick without any manual selection. Now I can simply hit a share button. That's at this Mac design <laughs> export button. And we can send it to my local device to my disk. We can change the name. Here you can modify the format, the size, resolution. I will bump up the quality to 90. 
and maybe I will save it as PNG. In my documents that will do, save and exporting, we are good to go. So that's how you can use Lumina Neo to recolor element from your picture using the AI mask. The mask will analyze your elements and then you click the element you need and apply the hue saturation. We got this bottom slider, hue shift, that's the fastest way. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you would like to learn more about Lumina Neo or purchase the software, I will drop the link in the description and I will see you next time. Bye.